Good morning. Just about to go back onto the Tatamai Road. Just come off the Rabbit Flats Road here, which leads into the old Rabbit Flats Roadhouse. Now just be aware it is closed. It has been closed for over 10 years, so there's not much there really. But um, because I'd been here 43 years ago, I just wanted to go and have a look. Just make sure you get permission from the owners first before you go in. It is a closed road, private road. So they request that you don't leave any rubbish, leave it as you found it and put this uh, barrier back up again when you leave. Yeah, part of the reason I was wanting to come here was um, I was here in 1981 and just wanted to um, have another look. Uh, the wind has dropped a bit so I'm going to put the drone up and just see if I can see what's down there at Rabbit Flats. Perfect landing. This place has been abandoned for a long time. This is Rabbit Flats. There is a lot of water here, a lot of bird life, a lot of ducks. Uh, there are no crocodiles here. Plenty of bird life there. When I was here in 1981, so 43 years ago, they had a petrol pump that um, you had to hand pump up to uh, a five gallon storage tank and then siphon it into your fuel tank. So I guess things progressed a bit having uh, a regular diesel pump here. There's an airstrip over that way, abandoned as well. And there's me and uh, the store let's go and have a look inside what was the rabbit flat store which i was last here in 1981 getting some supplies i didn't have a lot but uh nice big steel doors smoking can kill Oh, and this is where we came to get our food, through this little door here. It wasn't a lot, just basic supplies. There was a bar in here. A lot of empty cans. <laughs> Looked like they cleaned the bar up. Mm, I wonder if I should open this. Cool room, darkness. There's no critters in there, I guess. Definitely didn't expect anything to be left in here. Freeze that one. And a stamp. It's a kitchen, dishwasher, stove there, 
refrigeration. What I got hot working in here, and this is behind the counter. That's about it. I wonder when this closed down. I'll have to Google it later. Now this isn't for general public to come in here. I did get permission to come here, so yeah, not just for everyone to come and look. If only these walls could talk. I think there's a lot of history here. Sort of wonder why it closed down. Was it the owners passed away or it just wasn't, when the mine opened, it just wasn't uh, feasible anymore? I'll have to do some research. That's me done exploring for the moment. Yeah, picking up rubbish as I try to do at every camp. And, and yeah, this is best before 2024, so it hasn't been there too long. Anyway, that's my contribution of um, cleaning up Australia <laughs> so, in the bin. Just when you're out and about, take your rubbish with you. Just the right thing to do. And here I am on the old airstrip. Don't know if I'd be wanting to land a 747 on here, but it's just kind of, kind of a clear area. And the roads, Tatamai Road's not too far in that direction. And I think the old windsock has had better days. Thinking what might today's lesson be? Well, if you go out walking and it's an abandoned place and um, what looks like it might be a track on the map might be kind of overgrown, probably don't tackle it with limited footwear like um, Tevas and shorts because your legs will be caning by the time you get back. This in front of me looks like a reasonable track. This over here doesn't look like a great track and uh, yeah, your legs will suffer if you haven't got long pants on down there. That could be a lesson for today. Maybe jeans would have been safer. I don't think there's any snakes around in this weather, but yeah, you never know, I guess. Lots of dingo footprints everywhere, so haven't seen any though. an oncoming vehicle you can see a cloud of dust generally well before they get here. Uh, uh, I'll be closing this door pretty soon. you got to drive to the conditions when there's warning signs like that just uh, take heed It'll be a bit rough <laughs> trust me you wouldn't when I end up in there but you know, it's uh, been a bit rougher today the road but yeah getting there a few good sections but, uh, some are a bit uh, average. And you get a bit of an idea of how deep these corrugations are. Uh, pretty rough just to go. So apparently this is the official border between WA and the Northern Territory. According to this uh, sign here. I'm not gonna swear it's true, but at the moment, the caravan is in Western Australia and the car is in the Northern Territory. 